G'day guys, welcome to Sumo's Projects and welcome to this week's build. This is a can crusher, it'll turn this item into a very compact one in no time. If this is the first time watching Sumo's Projects, I'd love it if you go ahead, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video around and give it a thumbs up. Alright, let's hook into the build. G'day folks, Sumo here. This entire project is made from scraps, that being scrap wood, an old scrap antique iron, and also some shop vac plastic hose fittings. So these were all leftovers from different things. I thought I'd utilize them one day. And this is a prime opportunity to put them into action. So basically to make this can crusher, I'm using these um, Plastic leftover shop back fittings, they're going to be the upright pillars for um, to enable a part to slide up and down upon them. Uh, it's going to be part of it. I'll call it the axle, which is going to support the uh, iron. For me, this is one of the projects that puts fun back in the woodworking. It, it, it's a, it's a great type of uh, use of old materials. Gets you, gets you thinking a little bit about how uh, the process of engineering something can can be achieved. So, I recommend think of uh, things that you can utilise or use or have a have a usage in your home or in the shed, and uh, just go ahead and uh, practice making something. So I have called this part the axle. I'm expanding the ends here with uh, a couple of little su support strips because I'm going to be drilling out that big force in the hole and there wasn't sufficient material. So um, yeah, the whole idea between that is uh, just to get that a little bit wider. Uh, also putting on a little bit of a round over. This is all touch up stuff. You can do it with handheld uh, power tools or file, sandpaper, whatever you want. Um, also I've got leftover plywood for my bed build. Um, this will add additional support and perhaps just make it look a little bit better. <laughs> but um, yeah, so cut a little dado out with a, my router sled and um, just tidying up and sanding things down now to uh, get it ready for fitting. I think at times a lot of people are put off woodworking, DIYing, and just because they see um, some other folks making you know, high-end furniture or using elaborate joinery. Uh, this is not necessary. Anything that has a, a function at the end of the process and that you have fun making along the journey is, uh, to me, classed as woodworking or DIYing or whatever term you want to put on it. Um, there's no necessary skill set that has to be adhered to. Um, but when you do start making something, it gets in your blood and uh, it's so much fun and um, it evokes a lot of creativity within yourself. So as for the joinery, um, or putting things together here. Uh, the thing is, I, I want to uh, be able to um, screw this back on and then use some uh, super glue with some uh, kicker accelerator. I've used this stuff on several things and it's really good. Uh, this old antique iron, so I'm told it's antique, uh, it looks pretty old. Um, I'm giving that a bit of a clean up with WD-40 and a bit of steel wool and uh, it, it just cleans it up in general. And, adds a little bit of a shine to it. But um, 
So this, if you never use this stuff, it is, it's like a miracle. <laughs> it just happens in front of your eyes. There's no like, you know, gluing and clamping or waiting for uh, three lifetimes for things to dry. It's instantaneous. It's like a hallelujah, man. <laughs> As you see here, it does take a lot of weight and uh, support a great deal of uh, the projects that you need to have this uh, used upon. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the project. Um, hit the notification bell and maybe give it a thumbs up and share the video so other people can have a look. And just don't ever forget, have a have a bloody good time and have fun when you're making stuff. So here's this thing in action.